Let's now shift our focus to the earnings corner, Kritika. Plenty of big uh, earnings today. Absolutely. So let's start with the big automaker earning of the day. Maruti Suzuki beat revenue estimates today on their quarterly earnings for the period ending March. But profits are declined due to higher discounts, the Judd agitation in February and increased advertising spend on new products. But what would bring cheer to the street is Maruti's guidance for the new fiscal, while the company announced it would aim to clock a double-digit growth. CNBC TV 18's Ronald Banerjee brings us the key highlights from the earnings. For the first time in two years, Maruti Suzuki reported a drop in their quarterly earnings. The January to March quarter saw the company's net profits falling 12% year-on-year to around 1,134 crore, as against the CNBC TV18 estimate of 1,240 crore. This was on a revenue base of 14,930 crore that reported a growth of over 12% in the quarter, beating analysts' expectations. The operating margins for the quarter stood at 15.3% as against 15.8% in the same period last year. Tax expense for the quarter increased 27% at 556 crore as against 437 crore rupees and other income too declined 62% to 121 crore versus 320 crore last year. The management added that production loss of over 10,000 units in February due to the Jat agitation in Haryana and increased advertising expenses also impacted profits during the three-month period. What will bring cheer, though, to investors is the company's promise of achieving yet another year of double-digit sales growth despite the diesel uncertainty at home and a higher base effect. But how exactly the company will meet that target is still unclear, since would have to produce an additional 150,000 units at least this financial year, which will not be easy since both the existing production plants at Manesar and Gurgaon are stretched. Meanwhile, Maruti has decided to fast-track production at Gujarat to January 2017, though it would only be producing around 10,000 units per month in the first phase. The chairman admits that production constraints are the biggest challenge in front of the company. The challenge is going to be on keeping the supplies going because in Gurgaon and Manesar we've reached what was supposed to be its capacity. And now we have to adopt some expedients, some ways by which we can produce uh, maybe 150,000, 160,000, maybe some, some figure like that, more than the planned capacity from these plants. Though Maruti refrained from giving margin guidance for the year, profitability for the new fiscal will also depend on how the yen moves. A stronger yen hurts the company's bottom lines as it has an over 20% exposure to the currency. This quarter, the company's profits have been impacted by 50 to 60 basis points as the yen saw an appreciation of over 10% since January. However, the company is putting in place a new hedging strategy that includes paying its parent Suzuki for royalty on new products only in rupees. New model uh, Vitara Brezza, which uh, was jointly developed, uh, the first time the royalty now is denominated in rupees. And it, since the, it was a joint development, therefore the royalty rate also is uh, under 4% because uh, it includes the efforts that uh, the Indian engineers had put in in design of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what uh, the royalty uh, framework at the moment is, that on newer models, as we go forward, uh, if there's joint development, uh, the, there will be a reduction in royalty rates. The company promises that the new fiscal will be another good year. The next 12 months will see Maruti investing 4,400 crore rupees in expansion activities, 70% higher than what it spent last year. However, headwinds in the form of diesel overhang, rising commodity prices and stringent emission norms continue to be a source for serious concern. In New Delhi, Ranajar Banerjee.